Dave, thank you very much for your introduction and thank you for being here today. Uh, today we're going to hear from thought leaders in finance about the current ideas, important topics in research and practice. And to kick off the day, I want to talk about finance at MIT, about the history and the future of uh, our field and uh, what we all have in common. For more than 75 years, MIT has been pushing boundaries, thinking beyond what is known, imagining new ideas, solving complex problems, aiming to improve the world, improve economies and uh, businesses around the world. And uh, if we see the financial crisis as a, a test of uh, governments, institutions, and academia, I think that MIT scores high on this test. The kind of research that has always been emphasized at MIT, fundamental principles, have been validated through this experience, a painful experience. The need for better understanding of market dynamics, how economies work, how risk has to be measured and managed, has been emphasized. And uh, if you look at what has been happening around MIT, around Sloan, after the crisis, the kind of research my colleagues have been working on, the types of educational programs we have been emphasizing, this goes to the core of what is needed today to better handle future events of this type. And um, on that front, I think that MIT has been uh, in a leadership position, handling the aftermath of the crisis and looking forward into the future. Now, financial industry as a whole has been uh, heavily scrutinized after the crisis and criticized, uh, rightfully so, along a number of dimensions. And uh, at MIT, the events of the crisis reinforced our conviction that, as Dave said, we don't need a smaller financial system or less finance. We need a better financial system. We need better, higher quality finance, higher quality finance education. Um, we believe that deep understanding of the core principles of our field is essential for principled and innovative leaders of businesses, governments, public organizations, uh, policymakers, entrepreneurs, and this goes well beyond the financial services industry. Thinking about all parts of the economy, governments as well, fundamental principles of finance are at the core of the toolkit that uh, any leader should possess. So this has been made clear in a costly way, but uh, it's an important lesson uh, for the future. Today, the two words uh, that define finance at MIT for me are ingenuity and impact. Ingenuity, of course, embodies the MIT spirit and culture. It's a culture of invention, tackling difficult, complex, important problems. And uh, impact has always been what we look for uh, at MIT, at Sloan. This is what we aim to achieve, positive impact on the world. Now, these two words, they form our common ground. And uh, this is where we stand together as finance educators and practitioners, industry innovators and thought leaders. And uh, as we think about the role of finance going forward into the future, how we are going to improve the way people live, improve the health of world economies, make the financial system more stable. We're going to hear about these important questions throughout the day from uh, my colleagues. They will tell you about the current ideas, new ways of thinking, recent research. So what is finance at MIT? Finance at MIT uh, is uh, people. It's the people who take finance education and uh, research and invention to new levels. Uh, it's a set of capabilities, a vast set of capabilities and resources and the global reach of the MIT finance ecosystem. It's the community of individuals who engage in uh, productive, creative research, and uh, it's a place where ingenuity drives results. The MIT finance ecosystem is a unique living network that uh, connects faculty, research, programs, degrees, our alumni and friends, businesses that grew out of MIT that are closely connected to the school, our partnerships with the governments, private organizations across many disciplines and geographies. Speaking about our faculty, 
our faculty and uh, industry advisors come together to uh, push forward the frontier of knowledge. Our faculty form a tightly knit, high-powered fi finance group, which has been at the frontier of the field and uh, brings together top minds in the discipline. And uh, our industry advisors bring a lot of insight, experience, and share their wisdom and advice with us to help us move forward as a group. Our academic programs are built on uh, rigor and action. No matter what stage of their careers our students are at and where they are in their journey, we aim to bring them to the next level. We bring research into the classroom. Our faculty share recent findings with our students, and we help them get to the frontier of current thinking, learn the most modern methods and techniques, and uh, put them in the best possible position to innovate and advance the field. Our students and graduates deliver exceptional skills, and we hear it a lot from recruiters that what makes MIT students different and unique is their ability to hit the ground running and adapt to new challenges. I should also say that uh, our students tend to be nice and humble. We hear that as well, which is not to be taken for granted. Um, action learning is the key in how we train our students. We combine academic lecture-based teaching with practical lessons. And uh, this is what helps our students become innovators and collaborators to bring MIT problem-solving skills into the world. Our innovations by our faculty pioneered modern finance. I'm sure this is no news to you. Before other business schools had finance groups as uh, independent entities and independent courses of study, MIT founded the MIT Sloan Finance Group. And uh, we have been uh, leaders in thought in finance ever since. Intellectual contributions of uh, our faculty are now deeply ingrained into the fabric uh, of our field. And uh, the discoveries in uh, numerous areas, from uh, pricing of financial assets, derivatives, stocks, bonds, dynamic strategies for risk management and uh, portfolio choice, theories of monetary policy, theories of financial policies of corporations, these ideas now form the foundation of finance. And uh, as you look at the pictures behind me, I'm sure you're going to recognize some of your teachers and mentors. Now, being a younger, kind of more junior faculty member in this group, it's a bit daunting to think about this kind of legacy that's uh, difficult to live up to. But I have to say that uh, I am proud with the kind of work that my colleagues are doing, this tradition of invention, kind of bold, creative, original thinking is uh, very much alive and well at MIT. And you're going to hear a few fascinating examples of current research throughout the day. So this is a lot to be proud of. Our research and the insights are shaping finance ideas to push the boundaries beyond mainstream thinking. Uh, my colleagues are challenging the convention across a number of uh, fields. Just to give a few examples, and we are going to hear about some of these today, this includes new creative solutions and instruments to help uh, individuals uh, with their plans for retirement. Bob will talk about that. We have uh, new ways uh, of funding medical research, new perspectives on uh, systemic risk, measurement and management of systemic risk, um, new insights and interpretation of the housing crisis, the list goes on and on. These ideas are deep, they're diverse, and uh, impactful. We have built centers and labs to bring together academia and industry. These promote research with greatest impact with the promise of pushing boundaries in applications of finance in the industry and uh, in the public sector. For example, the Laboratory for Financial Engineering is partnering with industry on innovations like Cancer X, which is an initiative to use tools of finance to help fund important medical research and remove funding obstacles 
to help cure deadly diseases. The Golub Center for Finance and uh, Public Policy is focused on uh, unique and considerable policy and risk challenges that are facing governments and regulators around the world. And today we're going to hear from a distinguished senior fellow uh, at the Golub Center, Chester Spat. Professor Spat is uh, uh, on leave from his home institution. We are borrowing him from Carnegie Mellon. He has been with us for two years, and uh, we thank him for his contribution to our group. You'll hear more from him today. Our partnerships with the industry keep us engaged in global business. The reach of MIT is truly global, and uh, it extends beyond the boundaries of our field and beyond the walls of our school. Uh, if you think about uh, other types of work going on across MIT, there is uh, exciting stuff happening in other parts of MIT. So for example, CSAIL, the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab, is uh, conducting some very interesting work on uh, digital currencies and uh, fintech technologies. We're going to hear from uh, Gary on some of this work today. Our alumni network is uh, making an impact. It plays a unique role in the global financial system. Our alums are leading large, important firms. They're also starting very promising startups. They're leading established institutions, and they are at the forefront of disruption. Uh, as a little factoid, to give you a sense of uh, how important our alums are in the world, just uh, one statistic is that seven of the former or current uh, central bank chiefs uh, are either MIT students or uh, faculty. So that gives you just a little bit of a quantitative, I need to use some numbers in the story, so a bit of a quantitative measure of uh, impact that we're having. As uh, the event today illustrates, we invest in uh, forums and events presenting thought leaders. Our finance faculty and students bring together exceptional talent to present and debate ideas. For example, the MIT FinTech Conference, which was hosted just last month, is the nation's largest student-run conference, which uh, gathered the leaders in the area to discuss what is current and uh, what's coming next. And, uh, an event like today's conference, which is the Idea Exchange Conference, is a great opportunity for our friends and colleagues to step back from their day-to-day -day activities and kind of reflect, reinvigorate their mind and uh, engage with each other to discuss current ideas in research and practice. MIT Finance is uniquely positioned for the next decade which tends to be transformative in how we invent and uh, practice tools and methods of finance. More than ever, we are going to be guided by our vision, which is to solve complex problems and fuel progress in the world through the ingenuity and reach of the MIT finance ecosystem. The field of finance has potential to develop new, unprecedented solutions, which would help improve the health of societies and well-being of people around the world, and uh, impact on the businesses and societies and uh, industries is going to be more profound than ever. So with this, let me conclude by saying that I hope that you engage with the finance at MIT and uh, help us lead the way into the future in these exciting times. Thank you. Now, before... I introduce our next speaker a few organizational points. First, I'm very pleased with the kind of program that we have for you today. It's a full-day program. I hope you enjoy it. There's going to be a very lively mix of ideas. You're going to hear about some latest research from our faculty, about uh, a variety of issues from retirement planning to fintech technologies, financial risk, and so forth, uh, labor market risk, housing markets. Uh, you're going to hear from uh, our notable uh, alumni speakers who are going to share their experience, some of the personal experience throughout the crisis and uh, their thoughts on the future of our field uh, going forward past this decade. And um, 
I want to point out that the way we're going to handle questions, Q&A today, is going to be different. We're bringing technology into this setting as well. Uh, we are going to use a Poll Everywhere platform, and you have instructions on your registration, for, on your forms. So there are multiple ways to log in. You can uh, scan the QR code, uh, or you can uh, use a text on your phone. Basically, just follow the instructions, send us questions. We are going to collect questions and process them centralized.